guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So today I want to talk with you all about the power of saying yes, yes more in your life. Not just yes, yes more in your life. So if you've been a follower of mine for a while now, you will know my classic catchphrase of yes queen um, and how my first book Spiritual Queen was like say yes to yourself, yes to your dreams. Um, and yes to everything that you want with the law of attraction. Um, so I felt like this video had to be a yes video instead of a yes video. So just to make that rule clear here. So at the weekend, I was watching Netflix's new film, Yesterday, and it was such a lovely film, great family film, if you want to watch it, or a nice feel good positive film. Um, and I loved the essence of this, of how they created their own yes day. And it got me thinking into actually, how can we all say yes more in life? Because over lockdown, over 2020, we've had to say so many no's as such, felt restrictions, felt lockdowns, and also just felt, you know, very, like we can't say yes to a lot of things because of various reasons, <laughs> travel reasons, lockdown reasons, health reasons, whatever. So it has felt like a very no year. So I'm like, how as we come out of lockdown, hopefully for the last time, can we start saying yes more and yes to life? And how the power of saying yes can transform so much for us as well. So I've got some inspiration from yesterday film, which I would highly recommend watching as well for some inspiration maybe on what I'm gonna suggest. Um, and also if you just want a good laugh and a good film as well, great film. So the reason why we don't say yes to new experiences, new opportunities, or like spontaneous stuff as such, is because it can feel out of our comfort zone, it can feel scary, and a lot of the time, well actually all of the time, all of us humans hate change, <laughs> and it can feel scary and change, whereas you get a certain type of people who just say yes to everything, and like, yep, let's do this, and they're very like spontaneous and kind of free spirits as such. Now it's about incorporating both of those energies because we're not just gonna say yes to everything um, because it has to feel like a hell yes. It has to feel good, it has to feel aligned. So any decisions you are making have to feel good otherwise it is a hell no. And even when you're saying no, it's not that you're not saying yes, you're actually saying yes to yourself and honoring yourself. So my first point is, so actually by saying yes more to yourself, you're actually creating so much amazing self-love and self-care there. So actually sometimes the biggest yes you can say to yourself, or even maybe the smallest starting space of saying yes more is yes to yourself. So yes, should I be saying, um, to self-love and self-care, yes to honoring yourself and making those aligned choices, and even yes to boundaries as well. If you know you need to be implementing more healthy, loving boundaries, then that can be a big hell yes to yourself in terms of, you know, honoring yourself and saying actually my needs and wants are important too. So saying yes to yourself, first of all, can be a great place to start in terms of boundaries, self-love, self-care, and can also be a really fun way to start off this yes process. So really look at your life right now and say, do I need to be saying yes to myself more? Do I need to be saying yes to boundaries more? Do I need to evaluate that and actually look at what is aligning and feeling good versus what's not. So when we start saying yes to the things that align and feel good and flowing and you know positive and loving, you're gonna be in that vibration of receiving. You're gonna be in that vibration of more experiences like that. But when we're saying yes to things that don't feel good, or when we're saying yes to things that aren't filling our lives with joy or happiness or fun, whatever, you know, we're, we're saying no to the very things that we do want because we are saying yes to something that isn't in alignment. And you're gonna know what's in alignment because of the way it feels. If it feels easy, it feels expansive, and it feels like a breath of fresh air and easy, like that ease and grace, aligned. If it feels restrictive, if it feels a bit negative, if it feels draining, that's a no. <laughs> like that is a no, that is not aligned. So really look at that to start off with of how you can say yes to yourself more and yes to the things that feel good and feel aligned because that is going to get you into that vibration of feeling joy and abundance, meaning you're going to manifest more, you're going to be in the stream of abundance in that flow and also you're just going to feel better as well. So feeling good, like who doesn't want to feel good? So feeling good, manifesting, 
and experiencing more amazing opportunities you want to say yes to because they feel aligned because you're choosing those aligned choices and you're on that right path. So also saying yes more can also bring new opportunities and new experiences into your life because I had an example of this the other day where I just felt called to just go on Clubhouse. I was like, oh, let's see what's happening on Clubhouse and then saw that my friend George and Sharman Durek were doing a, well, were speaking in a club room, a clubhouse, whatever you call them. And normally I'd be like, no, it's the evening. I want to watch TV. I want to wind down. I'm not like looking at that, but I was so hooked by this conversation that they were having. And then I realized, I was like, what is George doing? And I realized that Sharma Durek was doing spirit hacking. And I was like, oh, this is really interesting. So I stayed on there for three hours in the end, three hours. And I had the most amazing opportunity and experience because I said yes to trying something new. So when I saw what Sharman Durek was doing, I was like, I wanna have a go at this. I wanna try this because he's coming on my podcast. And I thought amazing to experience this before the podcast as well and see his work in action. So I raised my hand, I got on the stage, I searched the virtual stage um, and had a live spirit hacking in front of hundreds of people which I normally wouldn't do because of obviously you know being so public and also I didn't really know what to expect and obviously it's quite a vulnerable thing to do but actually from that experience of saying yes just in that moment I had the most wonderful experience and learned so much and received you know free amazing healing before our podcast episode together and also got to learn more about him and how he works to be able to enhance that podcast even more. So simply by just saying that yes and feeling that intuition, I had an amazing evening where I got to learn so much about all these people who were going on the stage, so much about Sharman Durek. Um, I got to see my friend George and me, Hannah and George were all having this conversation about, oh my God, how amazing is this? We're all listening, we're all chatting. So we actually had a really nice little group experience completely off the cuff, completely spontaneous. And I'm only giving this example, obviously, if we were out of lockdown, I probably would be doing much more fun things than just going on Clubhouse. But obviously in lockdown, um, that's about as fun as it gets, right? <laughs> but my point of sharing that with you is I wouldn't normally do that. And I wouldn't normally do that because it was so public and also because I didn't know what the hell was gonna come up. Like he could have said a whole ton of stuff, you know? Um, and then lots of people would have known that stuff. But I was just like, nope, this feels good. This feels like a hell yes. And this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm gonna do this. So I did it and I don't regret it one bit. And it got me in a room of new people, meeting new people, having a new experience and learning things as well. So the reason why I'm sharing this is because when we say yes, and it feels that aligned yes as well, we could end up in anywhere with anyone, meeting new people, new experiences, new opportunities can come through. And the reason why this works is because we're putting ourselves in that new energy. Remember, old ways won't open new doors. So when you're putting yourself in that new energy, that new vibration of, oh, let's go try this, let's do this, you're in that new energy where you're open to receiving, you're allowing, but most importantly, you're having fun. And fun is that manifesting energy that is going to bring your desires to you. And you just don't know who you could meet. Like you can meet anybody, you can meet new friends, new partners, like romantic partners. Like I look back to all my friendships and my even relationships and it's come from saying a yes to something I wouldn't normally say yes to. And it's because we're creating that energetic shift. We're creating that energetic, like that new energy where you're able to like walk through those new doors and see what's on the other side and say, do you know what? I'm gonna put myself in those circumstances and situations because it feels good and it feels fun and who knows what could come from that right who knows so I think it's really about being brave sometimes being spontaneous but also choosing those aligned yeses as well because although you may think you're just like I made that decision of course you are but also your intuition is guiding it as well so making sure you're listening to that intuition if it's a hell yes go for it if it's a no that is a yes to yourself. And honoring that is equally as important, right? And also new doors as well. So if we look at new doors, it's about saying, you know, with that new energy, with that decision, with that new experience you're experiencing, whatever it may be, you are getting closer and closer to your desires because you are opening new doors and who knows what behind those doors, right? And I find from my experience and from clients' experiences and from even friends' experiences, when you're opening those new doors, that new energy can come in. So again, it's like shifting things up, right? It's shifting things up, creating that container for that new energy, creating the space as well. But actually most importantly in that moment, 
you're having fun, you're present, you're having fun and you're just enjoying whatever it is. Whatever you're saying yes to, you're there, you're enjoying it. You're not necessarily going there for that purpose of like, I'm gonna do this for this outcome. It's actually just doing it because who knows what could come from it, who knows? But actually from that experience, amazing stuff can happen, whether it's abundance, whether it's manifestations, whether it's just good feelings and good vibes and good people. All of those things are definitely things that people want, right? <laughs> there's no, you know, there's no bad things that come from that. And even if there were lessons to come from that experience, again, it's like bringing it back to yourself, listening to yourself. Was it really a yes? Should you have said yes to that? What have you learned from that experience? So again, you know, I, and I, I generally do feel with all my decisions of all my yeses to things that have scared me, or I'd be like, oh my God, do I wanna do that or whatever? Like, even if it's not been what I thought it would be, I've always learned something. I've always grown from that experience and I've always taken that and said, actually, I needed that. That was a really good, a really good interaction or a really good activity I did, which helped me to learn and helped me to actually get clearer and more aligned to what I do wanna manifest. So only positives can come from this, right? Lessons or blessings, but even the lessons are leading you to the very blessings that you want. So I want to challenge you to either a yes day or saying yes more in your life. So this is why I said watch the yesterday film um, for some inspiration on this, get the kids involved, get the family involved, of course, but maybe it's just about having a yes day for you. Maybe that is all this is, and that is a big hell yes too, if that feels aligned for you. So the rules to this are, you can't do anything dangerous, obviously you can't say yes to anything like dangerous that's gonna kill you or whatever, uh, and it can't be in the future. It must be decisions made there and then for things that day. So invite the universe into this practice if you're gonna do it. Um, let me know if you do and let me know what happens because I would love to hear what happens for you guys. But even if you're just challenging yourself to say yes more, even that's powerful in itself. So again, they have to be those aligned yeses. And even if you're having to say no to something, you're actually still saying yes to yourself. So it's not like you're not doing yes day right, you're actually still saying yes to yourself. And what feels aligned and also putting yourself in new opportunities. So you could say an affirmation in the morning like, universe, please help to co-create my day today and bring new opportunities, new possibilities, and new things that I can try and say yes to today for my highest good. So something like that, that was very wordy. You could definitely <laughs> simplify that um, and make that more simplified, definitely. But say yes more. What do you have to lose? Absolutely nothing and everything to gain, right? Nothing to lose, everything to gain. So actually by saying yes more, you really are getting closer and closer to your desires because the universe is bringing these new opportunities, new experience and new energy in to shift you, to help you, to align you. So really by putting yourself out there, being spontaneous as much as we can right now um, and saying yes more to things that feel aligned and good, you're gonna create shift. That is such a container for shift, for change and for positivity as well. So really, you know, go in with this for yourself. Don't go in with it with the, you know, ulterior motive of manifestation or whatever, go in with, I'm gonna do this for myself, to have fun, to have experience joy and to try new things because we know that those things are always gonna to lead to manifestation. So you don't need to think about that. So I want to challenge you to this. Let me know how you get on and please put your suggestions in the comments as well of what you're going to do for your yes day or saying yes to yourself more. Let us know because I'm sure everybody else would love to hear what you're gonna do and I wanna hear it as well. And if you want to say yes to something new and something fun this week, you can come and join my free five day manifesting challenge, which is creative manifesting with your inner child. So I do my manifesting challenge each and every year, but creative manifesting with your inner child involves the inner child. And inner child work is so much fun. Fun, joy, all of these energy and vibrations I've been talking about in this video. So if you want to enhance that, yes, come and say yes, it's absolutely free. What do you have to lose? Nothing but everything to gain, right? So that's starting on the 29th of March, so come and join the link will be in the description down below for you. I would love to invite you in and welcome you and help you to connect 
and manifest with your inner child as well. So you could even have this as part of your yes day and we're gonna be covering things like this and so much more within that challenge. So thank you so much guys for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all. And don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook where you can join myself and other like-minded souls where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality. I hope you have a great week, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will be next week. Lots of love, guys.